Charlotte. You know, for another uh, live street teaching. In the spirit and power behind my shim al shy. First and foremost, we want to start by giving all praise and glory and honor. Yahweh, Ba'a Shem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'a Shem, Rekak Wadash. Come on, just to know this, the Apostles of Great Millstone, who do well, and teach well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful life of Christian's word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom. 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 Uh, continuing off on the second Ezra, chapter 13, and verse uh, 43. And they entered into the Euphrates, the, the Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river. For the Most High then showed signs for them, and he'll spill the flood. So, so, the the Lord, so the Lord allowed for the northern kingdom to make that voyage down the, uh, down the tip of Africa through the horn, through the horn of Africa down to the tip, and then they split off into the Atlantic, into the Americas. But it said that the Lord showed signs because when you look up into the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, they were actually blessed to be like the astrologists of our nation. They had a deep connection of understanding the stars and how everything worked, and the Lord was with them. That's why I said that he held back the, he held back, say it again? He held back the floods. He held back the floods, meaning that the Lord, he kept the water still, so that they could make that passage safely. Because that's a long passage. Yeah. In that area of the Atlantic, you see it around the fall time. That's a hurricane season. Yeah. Well, our for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And that same region is called Arsara. Yep, that same region is called Arsara, the Americas. So that year and a half voyage is how long it took for the, the northern kingdom, these tribes, to make that voyage over to the Americas. So like you said, you know, our people, they only can go but so far into their heritage because this devil has stripped a lot of that information. They suppressed it. You know, they showed you what they wanted to show you, but as far as anything else, they hid it from you because, like the brother had mentioned, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. That's the vital important. So with that happening, you mentioned they, 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 they didn't necessarily strip the religion. That's what you have said, correct? The belief, right? Well, but it's a, it's a problem. It's a set of understanding to have. See, we live in a world where they tell you you can believe anything, but that's not what the Lord is okay with. The Lord, you have one power. You know, just like how you got a socket. If I have a plug and I plug it into a socket in America, it's gonna fit. I can't put that same socket. I can't fit it in Africa or Britain because the sockets are different. That's how it is with the nation of Israel. We're fit to go into a specific power source in order to function properly. Yeah. Yeah. How we all these different powers and how we all Your ancestors saw a city. Uh -huh. Your ancestors. Uh -huh. They came over. They were, they were righteous at first and then they turned with them. They saw a sacrifice on the temples and so forth. You made no sense. Both high, like the northern kingdom. If it's in the southern kingdom, he starts spinning. When he starts spinning, he falls from our power, and both high, he's damn bell down. You see what happened? In the less, in the damn white man. Remember on the cinema, what did you say? Okay. Somebody hold uh, three rounds in the cinema. Are you saying like we started creating religions? We started, we started to commit idol worship and adultery. We pretty much started to go against the law, statutes, and commandments oh, oh. of our the beginnings. Power. Right. We have 613 laws that we were set to abide by. Right. Our nation could never do it in perfection, but the Lord was always forgiven. Right. But we got to a point where we were we were pretty much abased in wickedness. Right. We pretty much forego our path of righteousness to cleave unto idols, to cleave unto these various types of practices that actually go back to heathen customs. And the Lord despised that. Can I get this real quick? Daniel chapter 9 verse 11 it says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy, thy law. It was the law of the law that is in the man of the most high So we so we'll put down in the book. It says, Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse, go to read the book of the book of the curse is poured upon us, and the other is like it, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses. Servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. 
And at the time of Moses, our nation made a covenant with the Lord to where he gave us a set of laws that we were to abide by. And with that, he gave unto us curses if we broke them and blessings if we abided by them. Right? And we entered into that harmonious agreement with the Lord, only this nation. That's why, as the brother's going to read, it details a slew of curses that fit only these people on this sign. This would be as a, as a sign of the scripture sign. Because you look at our people on this sign, it's like, damn. Like, they just can't catch a break because of our disobedience. Like, it's about to continue. 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 This is what the Lord was telling us not to do. And us being a stubborn, stiff-necked people that the scriptures say, we did whatever the hell we wanted to do, right? Because that's always been the problem with our people, is that we've been stiff-necked, hard-headed, because, well, I can do what I want to do. That's the notion of our people, unfortunately, to this very day. Here it is, we in the year of 2023, and our people are still trapping into idolatry, witchcraft, uh, sorcery, all types of shit. And that's not what we're supposed to do. The Lord telling us this. Can you read it? Now we're about to get into all the things that would happen to these people if they did so. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It shall come to pass. Thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy power to observe all his commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day. And all these curses shall come upon thee and take Right, these curses would overcome us and overtake us. Because what these curses were, as did you go, can you jump to the point where it mentions that, that it would be a sign? Because these curses that we did, it was it was fit for us. Because we went off. If you make a covenant with somebody and you make an agreement, it's like a contract. That contract outlines blessings. If you do what you're supposed to do within the parameters of that contract, but if you step out of it, you're subject to all of these curses. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. But they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. They shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder because these people on this sign are cursed na nations. These people are a cursed nation because of their disobedience, because of their stiff-heartedness, right? And it will be a sign and a wonder because you look at these people on this sign across the globe, wherever they go, they're always afflicted. They're always, they always have something going on and they have no true sovereignty. Like we were speaking about. Here it is, 2023, people are called black, Hispanic, Native American, all titles and bywords and proverbs. Did you jump to that too? That would actually be persons. Being called something other than your nation is a curse. You ain't gonna prove it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And it shall shall, and the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, into a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Right, speaking of America. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Yup, and that's what our people do. Here it is, we've been put into captivity. And our people still are in this spirit of disobedience, committing adultery, idol worship, you know, following after these heathen customs, worshiping false gods. Can you read it? And that shall right, become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. These people became an astonishment, a byword, and a proverb, meaning that they were called by other names, other titles. Because, again, when you break down the meanings of these words, that our people go by, it's actually, it's actually disrespectful sure. for somebody to say that you're black. Yeah. That means you're void of life. When somebody says you're Hispanic, like I just brought out the etymology of that word, it means pertaining to Spain. Who were you before the Spaniards conquered you? You see what I'm saying? Who were you before they decided to slap the title of Guatemala, right? All these different other nations and titles. Native American, those are our brothers as well. America is surnamed after Amerigo Vespucci, but yet these people were already native to their land. But 
But they had to get their whole identity stripped from them because of our disobedience. That's why in the time we're in right now, the Lord is awakening a remnant to come back to serve Him in truth and sincerity because the Lord is preparing to deliver His people from this place. We have no, we have no other hope but the Lord. It's proven, tested. Everything, somebody hold, um, somebody hold uh, Isaiah 42 when it mentions um, produce thy cause. I believe it's Isaiah 42, 41, the water. Our people have proved, they, they tried everything, bro. Our people have tried to tap in with any type of, any type of belief or, or, or practice to try and lift themselves up out of this state of captivity. But you only get what's so high. Because these curses are linked to our people. You can't get up out of the, you can't really get up out of this system. You can't really get up out of the, 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 the foot of your enemy. Unless you come back to the Lord. Somebody on John 8, 32 as well. But this book of Nehemiah 1, verse 9. But if he turned to me, for example, we have not dealt very corruptly against me. We have not kept commandments, nor statutes, nor judgments, which thou commandest to thy servant. Oh, that's what I asked for. The, the northern kingdom has the lowest of the land. So they are already taken over by the Assyrians. So our sin, Jerusalem, has been destroyed. So now we are hired and he's been pleading to the Lord. Basically asking him to remember his promise and remember his people. And that's why he looked for those moments. Where we're being brought back together. Where we're in a state where the Lord is gathering all the tribes to, to bring reference to the land. Jose, remember I was the word that thou commandest, thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. If ye transgress, we went away from the Lord. We took the laws that were to the neighbors. And we went just that way. I was learned one of these things. This is why we have our people scattered throughout South America, all of America, scattered throughout Asia, scattered throughout America. Because of we have against the laws of God. But if he turned unto me to keep my commandments and do this, though they were out of your out of you cast out into the uttermost part of heaven, yet will I gather them from tents and will bring them to the place that I have chosen to set my name at. Superpowers trying to establish dominance, the talks of World War III, nuclear war. You know, these things were already prophesied to happen at the last days before the return of the Messiah. But a lot of our people, they have a misunderstanding of how to come back and serve him. It's a proper way, as the brother said, to come back and put up those righteous sacrifices. And the first step is coming back to who you are. Alright, so like, I'm up to sound stupid here. If I was from like, if I was like British, what do I fit? It's really, it's really the spirit because you got to understand, that's a great question. When you had our people scattered throughout the earth, that's a diaspora. So the tribes, they went only, they did not only go to America, they primarily went to America because America was to be our captivity. But they also were scattered to various parts of the world. So you had with the diaspora, even with the northern kingdom, you had those people put on slave ships and sent over to Britain, right? Sent over to Europe, sent over to Asia, because it's not just the transatlantic slave trade. You had the trans, uh, the trans-Saharian trade, Sub-Saharian, Sub-Saharian trade, the Dutch trade. So it was a global enterprise of the trades of the tribes being moved around to various nations. But ultimately, it's the spirit that quickens and resonates with us. Because you have brothers, there's brothers all across the globe that are preaching this work. You got brothers in Italy, brothers in the UK, 
brothers in Australia, Germany, Asia, Holland, like his brothers all over the place. And it's all it all stems from this tribe, this tribe chart. This tribe.